everybody, I'm Kristen Baldwin from Entertainment Weekly and I am here live at New York Comic Con. Very excited to be here with the stars of AEW All Elite Wrestling. So uh, Chris, I want to start with you. You're a veteran of the Monday Night Wars. Yes. Uh, you're a legend wrestling. I, first of all, where's your belt? Uh, under lock and key. <laughs> okay. In an undisclosed uh, location. Okay. Next know. to the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd love to hear your thoughts on how do you think uh, competing uh, with WWE is different in this day and age with social media and... Well, first of all, we're not competing with anybody. All uh, right. We worry about our show and our show only. We're not in any type of war. I think the best part about the fact that we had an amazing uh, number on Wednesday night for a rating standpoint was that we were number two in the demo on the entire night. Uh, not for any other wrestling show, for every show on television. Yeah. Only the dastardly Major League Baseball wild card game bested us. <laughs> so um, we are worried about our own show and our own product and entertaining our fans who we are finding out are lapsed wrestling fans that have disappeared from the face of the wrestling earth uh, in a rapturous situation. <laughs> They're now coming back to join us with AEW and it's a really cool uh, position for us to be in knowing that we've created a huge buzz that's made AEW the coolest uh, wrestling company in the world today. And you were How's that? That's a great yeah. answer. You guys were number one topic, trending topic on Twitter. Number one. So was I. And Chris were. Jericho was number one on Twitter. What do you I think mean, about that? You're on and, the on list. My, and on MySpace too. <laughs> I was trending on MySpace. Oh, okay. That's that's not, I mean, is that that's not a thing. That's a thing. MySpace Mondays. Yeah. It's a thing. I'm gonna make it a thing. All right. Eight track cassette later on this month. So, um, Brandy, your chief branding officer is that correct? Chief branding, chief brand, chief brandy, all works. All right. All works. Uh, so what would you say AEW is bringing uh, that, you know, has been missing from the wrestling experience for fans? Uh, I think including the fans has been something that they've missed. They've been sitting behind a wall for so long. With our company, we're very inclusive. Everybody's a part of this. We recognize that without our fans, we wouldn't be here today. So it's a big family. We're all a part of it. AEW's for everyone, and that includes our fan base. That's great. Kia, did you have something to add? I mean, as a wrestler, you're a fan first. So, yeah, it's all about the fans. I love that they're like, coming back and everyone's like excited again. We that, call that the returners. The, the returners. The returners. And it's been like, clear, clear. <laughs> we were, like, revived and everybody's like, oh. Bringing them back to life. Bringing them back. To, oh. Love so there's, it. there's a real Breath buzz about, about the whole business now, and it's, we've got such a great roster that's very eclectic, it's very diverse, and all of us are pretty much fresh faces reinvented. So you've got a, a team of, of, of talent from around the world that no one's ever really seen that have been doing this for years and years and years, and uh, I think that's one of the reasons why it's so exciting, because it's like we're discovering these 10-year overnight sensations that no one has really seen in this country, but have been doing this and chose yeah. not to go anywhere else, but chose AEW. Um, I'm just excited that people are coming back to wrestling, watching wrestling, because I didn't know, because, you know, I'm, I'm involved in wrestling, head down in wrestling, that people, it's a thing now that people watch people play video games. Yes. Like, growing up, <laughs> when I watched my brother play a video game, we were, like, fighting over the controller. Like, this right. is a big thing. People watch people play video <laughs> games now, so you can sit there and just play a video game. People watch you do that. So... Thank you for coming back to watching people actually be active <laughs> in the ring. I'm excited about that. I think a big thing right now with the fans is just that it's like the fans kind of found each other. Yeah. It's cool to be a it's cool to be a wrestling fan again. It's not something you have to be embarrassed about. Like, oh, you watch that stuff on yeah. TV, and you're like, oh, well, I well I like it because I used to like. Mm -hmm. Now you can just be like, no, I like yeah I do, and so is this guy and this guy and it. Uh, it's like a party atmosphere at an yeah. AEW show. Everybody's My name uh, is Keith, not unlike. I'm a wrestling fan. <laughs> yeah, not unlike Comic Con yeah. here, uh, where you know people are like, "You like Game of Thrones? I, I do too. I high five, you know." And uh, it's the most exciting time in the business since I've been in the business. It's the most exciting time for fans since I was probably 12 years old. So you know, it's cool. Man. Um, <laughs> Jack, you're way there in the back. Your dad was a big fan, Luke Perry, uh, we, uh, who everybody loved. And what do you remember about growing up watching wrestling with him? Yeah, we used to uh, we used to go to the shows. He'd take me down to the Staples Center and stuff like that. Uh, we'd watch on TV. He, he was just really excited. He loved wrestling when he was a kid, and his favorite wrestler was actually Dusty Rhodes, which is a yeah. cool, it feels cool for me in a kind of roundabout way. So. And uh, he really supported your career. Yes. Yes, he was a... Uh, 
you know, I've been on the way up. You got to wrestle in kind of a bunch of dingy buildings, warehouses, <laughs> things like that. And uh, yeah, he came to the mall. He came, hung out. Uh, he wore a disguise a lot of times. Oh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he'd be there in a mask of some sort, watching. So he wouldn't take the spotlight off of you. Yes. And that's very kind. He actually <laughs> was still with us when when Jack signed with AEW. Yeah. So he got to see his son Tip sign him. this major league contract, which yeah. was very cool that too. Was very cool. The first time I ever met him, it was in a dun dungy place in like San Francisco, <laughs> and his dad was there. He wasn't in disguise, but. He was there, and it was a dungy place, and he was paying his dues as a wrestler, and that was many years ago. That's I wish the fans watching this live could understand how good Jungle Boy's hair smells. Right? Like it's <laughs> like it's stand, it stand smells stand like, like, it, like a fresh baked oh. cookie. I, like I didn't walking. even put on perfume today because right? I knew we were going to be. <laughs> in, in the that I, I did Musk there. of Jack. <laughs> it's going on sale soon at AEW.com. Bask in the glory. Bask in the glory. <laughs> Nyla, you had a big match. Um, I, I assume it's not a spoiler to say that it didn't necessarily end well for you, but then you, you know, in terms of uh, Rio uh, won, but you weren't uh, necessarily going to let that stand. Uh, what, what can you preview for your storyline going forward? Yeah, it's, it's not, a, not a spoiler, but it's still a bit of a sore point. Sorry. Sore point. Um, you know, I guess uh, I guess I got to start at the bottom, you know, start at the bottom and, and get back here. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of people are going to pay. And, okay. <laughs> that, not, not, you guys, <laughs> not you guys, not you guys. I'm, 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 I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, everybody wants to be queen until it's time to roll out that red carpet of blood. Well, I'm ready to do that. All right, make it happen. Oh, wow, that's and I was really struck by, right. like, what a, it, you mentioned it's a really diverse roster and it's great. I mean, it seemed like something that is very important to the AEW to have wrestlers of all different types. Well, what we wanted to do most importantly was not have a bunch of, uh, of of talent that people had seen a lot of before. Previous companies that have started have relied on stars from the past, which is great, but we wanted to find reinvented stars from the past, like Mox, who's better now than he's ever been when he was in WWE, like myself, who's been reinvigorated, but also find a whole new roster of yeah. people, like I said, that have been doing this for a long time that chose not to go to WWE over the years. And that's where the strength of our roster lies. There's a lot of star power, but there's also a lot of, uh, of, of, of passion performers that are ready to break loose on a national scene that have never had the opportunity to do so. Yeah. Yeah, when you only have one real place to go, there's really only so many options for people. And, and a lot of people will get into this and they'll think, well, I've got to do all of these things just to get here. And that'll compromise who I have to be as a performer mm -hmm. in order to get there. Whereas now that there are a lot of options popping up and it, like, hey, it's a resurgence. There's a lot of wrestling coming around. So that's allowing people to be themselves authentically. And fans love that. Yeah. Nobody wants you to be somebody else. We want you to be you because we want to connect with you. I want to connect with real people. Right. And that's what we have here. So it's, it's a hodgepodge of amazingness. And if you can't fit in with somebody here, then your heart's not beating. Right, and uh, Kia, you know, I would be remiss if I didn't mention. Obviously, fans also know you from Glow, and uh, what? <laughs> and uh, it's a thing. It's a thing. What's it's that? a thing. And uh, do you think that the show Glow has brought people to re back to wrestling as well? Or oh, I do. I, I've met many people that are tuning in to wrestling now because they watched Glow and they can appreciate the, the, the journey that the women on that show have gone through. Yeah. And so they've you know, taken an interest in wrestling itself. So I'm very glad that you know, Hollywood and, and wrestling have found a bridge to um, you know, have people cross back and forth between mediums. And how are you feeling about the final it being the final season coming it's up? Bitter, it's bittersweet, you know, it's but you know, I have AEW to focus yeah. on, so it's bittersweet, but I'm I'm glad that we get to tell the story that the producers, the creators wanted to tell. We get to wrap it up in the way they want it to do. Yeah, that's great. Well, thank you guys so much for being here, and uh, congrats on the great debut for AEW. And you guys stay tuned to EW.com for more from New York Comic Con. Thanks so much. That's a lot of EWs. <laughs> <laughs>